Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be trying to make the Sway House in Minecraft, so I hope you like it. The first thing I needed to do was pick out what block I want. Since the Sway House has kind of a yellowish tint to it, I had a few choices laid out. First I had gold and yellow concrete, some sandstone, and some yellow terracotta, and I ended up going with the concrete. The first thing I did was add 21 blocks of yellow concrete and added 3 blocks towards me, 6 blocks to the right, 2 blocks towards me, 8 blocks to the right, and then I brought it back to, to the right 6, back 3, and to the right 22, but I ended up getting rid of 1 because I wanted it to look a little more symmetrical. Here I raised it all by 7 so it's a total of 8 high and then added one more layer on the middle few blocks. The next thing I needed to do was pick out what block I wanted to use for the roof and I was choosing between blackstone and prismin blocks or stairs and I kind of wanted to do this because I don't know if the roof is just rusted so it looks bluish or if that's just part of the style but I ended up going with the prismin because I just thought it matched the color best. So then I added those stairs all along the wall and I made sure they were overhanging. So it's not like they're right on top of it, they're overhanging. And then I also built that up just a little bit so it looks kind of steeper like it does in the picture. And then I just kind of, you know, touched it up, made it so it looked like it was curving downwards on the sides. Really do whatever you want for this part. It doesn't need to look exactly like the photo, especially since it's really hard to do that in Minecraft. And then I just wanted to add the roof, so I added some stone and then filled in any gaps with some more prismine. Here's what it looks like so far. And now it's time for the fun part. So I'm going to just, on the middlemost part, take out some blocks so there's two left on each side. And then add some quartz pillars going all the way up leaving two blocks at the top so I can make this dome shape with more pillars. And then I'm adding an item frame with a clock in it just because it kind of looks like this part of the picture and then I also decided that it looked a little better if I moved it down one. So now since we want to do a kind of an entryway that goes in and so there's space on the outside, I'm taking out this part of the wall and then just building in from the back part so it kind of is just more of like an entryway that's outside, kind of like an overhang or a front porch. And then also make sure you fill in the ceiling. I'm just using some concrete. And then I also added some stairs and then this cute checkered pattern for the floor. And I'm using stripped wood to kind of outline the place that I cut out and then fill the rest in with glass and put in the door. The doorway looks really cute and so now I'm going to move on to the left side where I'm going to just make a window using quartz and then I also use quartz stairs to kind of make it look like there's an overhang and I just repeated that on the other side. Now moving on to the very left side I'm adding two windows so I'm just cutting them out over here and I'm going to fill them in with glass except for I kind of wanted it to have more of a windowy look if that makes sense so I added quartz and you're going to need a loom to make these banners and here's option one Here's option two. You don't need to add like both of them. It just depends how much you like them. And then I also added another window to the left. So I'm just going to repeat somewhat on the other side. I'm only adding one window and then one smaller square window because this is where the garage is gonna go. Now I'm just going to build that back by about 20. It can be however big you want. The other side is showing 30. So just depending on how big and if you're gonna do the interior, uh, you can choose how to do that. But you do want to make sure the right side is shorter than the left. This is what it ended up looking like and I think it turned out really cute and really close to the picture. If you want a part two where I do the backyard because the backyard is so so pretty, like this video and I'll do one in a couple of weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you'll consider subscribing if you don't want to miss out on another video.